Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Um, today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes C-Class. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.1 C220D SE. 7G Tronic gearbox, Euro 6, 2143cc engine, 2015 on a 65 plate, has done 62,226 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 53.3 miles per gallon, extra urban, 74.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 64.2 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 142 miles per hour, out of 168 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Road tax is only £35, so very, very cheap. It's got the aluminium roof bars, the aluminium window surrounds, rear privacy glass, double spoke alloy wheels, front parking sensors, the big Mercedes grille, integrated rear tailgate spoiler, rear wash wipe, power open, power closed boot, reversing camera, rear parking sensors, the carpet mats, Isofix rear child seat anchor points, rear armrests, and the piano black insets into the door cards. Documented service history, 9th of 10th, 2017 at 19,990 miles, John Haynes Auto, 6th of 11th, 2019 at 33,965 miles, AJ Riding Limited, 4th of 11th, 2020 at 40,850 miles, AJ Riding Limited, 29th of the 1st, 2024 at 60,000, and 57 miles Rogerson Mechanical, including four new tyres. Fourth of the four, 2024, at 61,057 miles Rogerson Mechanical front discs and pads. Okay, so we'll get the aircon on quick. Um, we've got two keys, not the normal keys with blades. It's uh, the fob goes into a little socket on the dashboard recognises the key and then turns it, and that, that's about it. Um, what else have we got? We've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Right, let's, uh, let's get going. <clears throat> oh, I used to having them on my head. Right. It's the Mercedes-Benz gear selector on the right hand side of the steering wheel where you would normally find your wiper stalk <laughs> but it ain't there and if you go for it when it's raining you'll end up knocking your Mercedes Benz into neutral and you don't want to do that. £35 road tax and although it says up to 70 miles to the gallon I think that's probably a little bit optimistic but it's economical. Drives superb. It's quite funny because when I became sales manager at Mercedes Benz, um, I, before that I was the best salesman, so I got the best car. And I had a C180 Sport or a C, C220D which was brilliant because they were really economical like, like this, really economical, fantastic cars. And then when, when I was promoted to sales manager, my car was an E-Class Estate, which became known as the Jeff, after Jeff Hearse, and obviously because it looked like a hearse. This looks like, a bit like a hearse, with it being black with black windows. But it just, it's amazing how your views change. I mean, I, I was ready for giving up the job and going back to being a salesman or, or even moving somewhere else um, so that I didn't have to run around in the Mercedes estate. Now, I, you know, I'm driving this, I'm just thinking, oh, I, I can get my mountain bike in the back, I've got all my camera gear, um, my, my snowboard, absolutely ideal. And, and I'm just thinking of taxing it. So anyway, there you go. It, uh, I'm not ready for a pipe and carpet slippers yet, but this is a lovely car. So it's black on the outside, it's got black. It's probably Artico leather. I don't think it's uh, real leather. So it's Artico, Mercedes-Benz um, artificial leather. Nice and comfortable. Electrically adjustable, like so, up and down. Backwards and forwards, you have to pull a lever, but the backrest is also electrically adjustable. 
you've got electric door mirrors. There we go, left, just move that, so I'll get the handles in. Move that one, so I'll get the handles in on there, I can see everything. Just down here, we've got cruise control there. So cruise control, I've just knocked it down, it's on. If I click it up, that's clicked it to 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour along this road, it, it, it's brilliant. Nice enough display. If I'm honest, the sat-nav looks to me a little bit like one of those, you know, baby's first iPads or, or whatever. But having said that, it does the job. It does, it does the job perfectly. It's nice and clear and shows you where you're going and gives you clear instructions. So I, I like that. We've got there, that's auto stop start. You'll notice I've knocked that off straight away. Then at the front here, a little thumb wheel. I knock that up there. I can knock into Sport. You see there, Sport Plus. Go back. You can set how you want it to drive. Comfort's fine for me. That's what I want. I want comfort. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like a launch of a new lorry or something. Some uh, nice vehicles here. On the dash, we've got home there. That changes your information display in the center. You've got trip, navi, radio, media, telephone, assistance graphic, service, settings. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to go for trip, so click OK, and that's trip. Now it's showing at the moment, that's showing the digital speedo. That's what I like. I like to see an analog clock <laughs> that tells the time, but I like a digital speedo, one that tells me no ambiguity. You're doing 40 miles an hour, you're doing 41 miles an hour, whatever. So it tells you exactly. That's the setup I like. Otherwise, the speedos at the left, your rev counters at the right, in the center at the top, it's telling you what gear you're in. The bottom, outside air temperature, which is 24 and a half degrees, and it's four minutes past two. Just a, you, you know, Mercedes Benz really, you can't beat them, Mercedes Benz Estates, Crikey, again, when I, when I first started at uh, Mercedes-Benz as salesman, all the new cars were sold, so the only thing I could sell was used to make any money. And uh, I hit the prospects, of course. Every used car we got in, mail shop, you name it. And I soon learned that <laughs> Mercedes Estates were like gold <laughs> and as soon as I had a massive list of people who wanted Mercedes estates and I used to listen in the sales meetings in the morning the sales manager I wasn't sales manager then um, I used to listen who got what cars coming in what part exchanges and then I'd offer them my customers quick and uh, doing that <laughs> <laughs> I managed to become the sales manager in not, not such a long time. Uh, it's probably a decision I regretted for the rest of my life. <laughs> anyway. So, indicators and lights on the left here. We've also got paddle shift. I want to change up or down. Up the motorway. And away we go. Plenty of speed out of this engine, but it's so economical too.
Menu. Temperature. Air distribution. Airflow. So we'll just go back to well temperature you see there. I've got it on low, that's the air conditioning. Air distribution, click on the air distribution. There it's on auto. But I can I can turn it round. That's really where I, where I want it, I think, at the moment, blowing out on windscreen, face, feet, keeping my cameras cool. There you've got telephone as well. So you go through all these, you go through the menu, but you can just go telephone, you're on telephone, media, Bluetooth audio device paused. If I click that, that will play it and turn it up. Just, uh, again, Navi. I prefer buttons. And this is all right, really. You know, you can, you can put your hand on here. That is stupid. Because you can guarantee when, you, when you're trying to do something with that, like, like so, just uh, I'll just click back. So you're trying to do something like that. You go over a bump and you click the wrong thing. Putting a mouse pad in a car is <laughs> is ridiculous. Absolutely is ridiculous. Nice finish though. This this piano black, in, piano black insets in the door. The front central armrest. There you go. I'm just going to go off here. So there's storage space in the front end drawer armrest, and it's nice. The seats are lovely, nice and comfortable. Steering's good. This, I would say, I could just feel a wheel wobble. Now it's all right me saying I feel a wheel wobble. And then when I get home at night, I'll, I'll, you know, this is to remind me, I'll make a note. But I do all my editing at home. By the time I get back to work tomorrow, I will have forgotten about it. So if you ring up about this car and you want to buy it, will you make sure you ask us if we've done the wheel balancing? Because I, I think there just is a, just a little bit of a wobble there. It's not coming through the brakes, so it's not the, not the disc. It, uh, I think it's probably the, the front near side wheel there. Nice, nice car. What have we got there? Just a load of lights. Oh, we've got a heated seat there as well. Just use the paddle shift there just to change. They always cock me up coming around here. I always think we should be in that lane, but lots of people come around the outside, even though that's kind of straight on. Um, they're undertaking, in my opinion, <laughs> but I have been wrong before. <laughs> so anyway, who cares? Nice, nice car, I love it. I, I think I will, uh, I've actually just shot, oh, this morning just saw my Jaguar I-Pace, I keep trying to get into electric cars. The electric car is ideal for me because I only work four or five miles away from home. So it's ideal for me, but if I'm going on a run, trust me, I'd be in a, I'd be in a diesel. I'd be in a diesel that's got like 500 mile range. You fill up at home, go and do it. And you don't have to worry about parking up and this is perfect. It's a great, also great second car. You drive around in it, no problem. It's a nice, smart car. But all the kids' hobbies, anything you want to do, go camping, all fit in the back. Bikes fit in the back. You can buy a roof bar carrier system for it. And you can take anything. It's, it's perfect.
Okay, well, we're just approaching the flipping uh, level crossing, which is always down whenever I come this way. The only fault I can find on it is, like I said, a wheel wobble. And, and even that's not too bad. Probably being a bit hypercritical there. But, uh, lovely car. If you want to know more about it, um, give us a shout. I'll put a link in the description to the actual car on our website so that'll have everything listed all the service history and so on all our details all our contact numbers and all the other cars that we've got too so thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye bye okay i'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the bluetooth audio system in this 2015 mercedes-benz c-class um, at the moment it's on sat nav uh, we've got here this is kind of the smart control. You can knock this up and knock it down. We'll just go back, go back at the top there. That's the normal. If I, let me just see. If I just, if I just go back here, go to star. Then you get this screen. And that's by pressing star there. You can also move about using this kind of mouse, which is hard work, especially if you're driving. So onto telephone and we'll click select. Telephone, to return to navigation, please confirm Navi. I don't want to, I, I want telephone. So we'll click on there, telephone. Now then, it's defaulted to connect device. That's what I want to do, so connect device. Search for phones, search via telephone. I want to search for phones. Now I go into settings and I want Bluetooth. Bluetooth, and then I'm going to be watching out at the bottom. There's Start Search. I click on Start Search, searching for Bluetooth phones. I was, when I first got in here, I thought, well, I haven't got a BT account. Mine's, mine's with EE. It's not going to find it. There you go, Barry's iPhone here. So I'm going to turn that down until I get to Barry's iPhone, then click on it. Bluetooth pairing request 059509. Does passkey match? Yes, it does. Pair. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. Allow. That's it. That's just showing the, the sat nav's come up on my phone. That's always a good sign that it's paired. But let's just have a look for Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz Bluetooth connected. That's it done. OK, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2015 Mercedes-Benz. So here we go. If I click the star, it's gone back to menu. You've got telephone there, so I'll just go along. On, off, on, off, on, blah, 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 skip, tag. We want phone. Telephone. Click on telephone. Now then, my phone is connected here but I want to delete one. So if I pull back towards me, it then brings up this menu at the bottom, connect device or options. If I go onto options, you've got Barry's iPhone, call up contacts automatically, import contacts. That's not what I want. We go back. So we go connect devices. I don't want to connect a device. That's what you have to do, connect device. Click on connect device. And then you'll see these two phones. One's mine, which is connected. This is the one, Michael's phone, that's the one I want to delete. Once it's highlighted, you'll see I can go back or there's another menu if I knock over this way. So knock over, deauthorise, click on deauthorise. Do you want to deauthorise Michael's iPhone 12? Slide over to yes. Yes, that's it gone. That's how you delete a mobile. OK, I'm just going to show you how to stream music, play music from your mobile through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. So the first thing we do, we go to tunes. There's a tune on that I quite like anyway. Now, you see at the bottom there, the, the circles and the, the like pyramid. If I click on there, all it's showing is iPhone at the moment. So my phone is paired to the system, but it's not showing. So what we need to do, we'll click the star, that takes us back 
there you go, you've got media, click on media. No Bluetooth, no Bluetooth audio device connected. Right, okay. You see media there, there's an arrow as well. So if I go to options, click on options, Bluetooth audio devices, click on Bluetooth audio devices. Now, highlight Barry's iPhone 15, click on it, with a bit of luck, there it's come up. Now, anything that's playing on this, any audio, whether it be YouTube sound, YouTube video soundtrack, um, Apple iTunes, Amazon Prime Music, Spotify, whatever, it will play on here. So we'll go back there, click on that, turn it up. That's it. That's how you play music. Okay, I'll just show you how to um, set the sat nav in this uh, 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. So what we'd need again, we'll go to star, click star. I could have done it on that, but we turn here, get to navigation, click on navigation, activating navigation. The first time you use it in the day, it'll ask you to click on it to make sure that you, you're not gonna be distracted. We want to go to where to, so you can either do it with the touchpad on the top, or just turn back like so, so where to, click on where to, points of interest, address, go home, we want address. Enter town, enter postcode, postcode. And now we're growing the garage, Blackburn Road, Preston, P, oops, R. Now we want numbers, it's defaulted to numbers. Five, four, come back to letters E, A, PR5, four EA, that's it, select. You've got to select, even though you've just typed it in, you've got to select. Looking for the address, in the top left hand go, click. That's it. That's how you uh, set the sat-nav.